Hello guys, welcome back to In 5 Minutes. In this session we are going to see how to design a full subtractor using two half subtractors. We have already seen the working of half subtractor and full subtractor. But once again we will see the working of half subtractor in short. So this is a half subtractor. Okay. Now particularly in digital, we don't subtract. We find out the difference between two bits. So here I will get the D as the difference and this is the borrow output B O. Okay. Now for this section I have inputs A and B are the inputs and in the output sections I have difference between two bits and the borrow. Okay. So all we know that so difference between 0 1 and 1 0 is 1 whereas both the bits are same then there will be no difference but for a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 the operation is performed as a minus b okay d is equal to a minus b hence the borrow generated fun is here now to implement this circuit okay we require the basic gates so this is the implementation where this is a bar B okay this is A bar B and this one is A B bar so if we'll, this is the expression for A XOR with B that's why this XOR gate is used here okay so this is D is equal to A minus B logically it is A XOR with B whereas B O is nothing but D A bar into b okay since b is present here for which a bar into b only for one condition so this is the half subtractor the block diagram and this is the implementation for two inputs now full subtractor is of three bits that is nothing but a b and borrow if any from the previous stage okay so how to implement full subtractors using two half subtractors so let us consider two half subtractors here so i have half subtractor and i am taking another input as bi that is nothing but the borrow input along with a b and bi okay so this is nothing but the difference that is a minus b now here i am going to connect this a minus b as it is whereas second input of this xor gate is connected to the borrow input that is nothing but this will be final difference d okay so this is going to be the final difference d because it is a minus b and this borrow input should be again subtracted so this will be a minus b minus bi that is nothing but the final difference okay then the borrow is generated from two of the cases borrow can be generated from the first half subtractor also or it can be generated from the second also so final borrow is nothing but the or operation between these two so this is going to be the final borrow b o okay and this is nothing but the or operation between borrow from the second stage or it may be borrow from the first stage so if you'll see carefully that i am using two half subtractors so this is half subtractor one and this is here half subtractor two so with the help of two half subtractors i'm i'm easily calculating the full subtractor that's all about the full subtractor using two half subtractors Thank you for watching in 5 minutes and for more videos and ideas stay tuned.